So if somebody has, has seen a presentation in the last year or two uh, of, of updates in Abacus and new features and so on, they might have run across a, a one slide that talked about multiple nonlinear load cases. And the slide, it would, would have looked a lot like this. I've basically taken that slide, uh, slight formatting issues, but nothing too significant of a change. And just simply said, well, previous workflow in Abacus, we have multiple independent input files, we have multiple solver initializations, multiple independent output databases, and it's computationally inefficient. We show a little uh, diagram on the left, and then we show the new workflow with a diagram on the right. Um, we, and again, a lot of this was in the amount of time we had available and the amount of time, uh, the amount of items to discuss. It was very limited, and frankly, may not be entirely clear what the value of this was and what he was even speaking to. Uh, I did note uh, the thing of a manifest keyword that describes this. And so if one were to then go subsequently into the uh, Abacus input files, they would see, or the Abacus uh, user assistance guides within the Abacus keywords, one would see this thing star manifest, a new keyword that was introduced in uh, 2020 or 2021 and talks about the manifest, it's used to specify the input files used in evolution analysis. And then it describes a required parameter of the evolution type and the optional parameters of a base state, a model change results in zero increment. Frankly, if we leave you to the device, to your own devices, it's not going to be terribly clear what this is useful for, uh, which is exactly why we're having this conversation today. Because in fact, once one understands what we are doing, once one under understands what the normal default abacus paradigms are and how this is somewhat disruptive within those paradigms, one can hopefully quickly uh, evaluate some opportunities for, for ease of use, for improvement, for even efficiencies. So uh, let's break down what this is and, and why you should care.